Hello everybody and welcome back to The Escapist. Now I know I left off Santa's sweatshop not too long ago, but I did say that I could do center perks in one day, and so that's what I'm going to be doing. So it should be a fairly short episode, but I really thought it would be something that um, people would enjoy. So let me know what you think, and let's get on with the video. Now, a fun thing about center perks is that you actually can't escape it in one day unless you have Dr. Pepper. And luckily for me, I've got one right here. Um, but we're na our name is not going to be Billy Goat. Our name is going to be Kristoff. Why? I don't know. We should probably be the. We should probably be this guy. All right. So we're Kristoff. Last time we were spent, Kristoff is going to escape. That's what we're going to do. Perfect. All right, dear Kristoff, welcome to Center Perks, the most comfortable, low security prison in the county, country. I'm so glad that they tell their inmates how low security they have it. On behalf of all the staff here, we wish you a happy and relaxing visit. Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV, we pride ourselves in many other engaging activities around the grounds. Warden Dean Hall. All right. Prison life is about routine and sticking to them. You'll keep the guards off your back. All right. So let's look here real quick. So, like I said, first thing I do, shiv. All right. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some forks, and we're going to need, we're always needing forks, and we need cutters, and we need a guard's outfit. And that's pretty much all you need. Kristoff and Bentley. Well, that's fine. No, I don't beat anybody up. Deluxe roll of toilet paper. I'll see what I can do. All right, so this is what you got to do. You got to cut one of these walls. And technically, we're inside. So as long as we don't get caught, we can do this the entire time. I probably should have done this one because it's a little bit farther away from this. This is actually my first attempt at this uh, today as well. I just figured I'd see what I can do. I mean, I've done it before. So I figure it's not going to be that difficult. But again, sometimes it takes more than one try to do it in one day. So we'll see what I can do. All right. So that should be at four. I'm all right. I'm here. Let's uh, let's get this fatigue down. All right. And I got a laundry job. Oh, I got the laundry job. That means I can get the guard's outfit right away. See, look, it's so easy. It's so easy. Oh, these are, um, hold on, let me pause it. So those are contraband detectors. Um, if you have anything in your inventory that is contraband, um, they will get set off. Apparently not your weapon, but like if you have anything in your six item slots, uh, it'll alert the guards. You'll shoot up to 100 um, instantly. Ah, uh, it'll shoot up to 100 instantly. So I forgot that there would be metal detectors. So I'm going to get my intelligence up. Because I don't know how much intelligence I'm going to need to make cutters. Yeah, I need a guard's outfit. $18 for a bottle of medicine. And I get 24 from Bentley? Deal. Alright, so what we're going to do is, when night comes, I'm going to put on the guard's outfit. And I'm going to cut through this wall. And then as soon as that happens... I come down to this fence and I escape. Um, as long as the guards are not here. So that's really all it takes is you break through this wall and it's already done and then I gotta instantly cut through that fence but I can't cut through the fence until nighttime. So I don't know how much intelligence I need to make a bed dummy but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm really just waiting for night. If I could get some cutters or some files or something. See, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the RNG of everything is, like, if you can't get the duct tape in the files, you can't actually make cutters, which means you're stuck with plastic knives. But I'm going to see if I can do it with the plastic knives. Because, I mean, getting a guard's outfit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't accidentally kill me. If he kills me, then... All right, whatever, kill me. If he kills me, then I didn't lose my stuff, so... Yeah, it's the first prison, so they they keep giving you little fun facts. 
Alright, well, that's a little unfortunate that it's me. I might not actually be able to do it. There's my there's my bed dummy. I'm gonna take one donut. Cause I think it ten fatigue, ten fatigue. Okay, yeah. So the donut and the chicken's the same. The thing is, is that I need to have an open slot. Well, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna try. See, that's why you need to do it. A second, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Oh. Alright. And it is lights out, so I'm going all the way into the corner. And I'm seeing if I can do this. With just knives. Yeah, technically it says day two, so maybe I didn't do it fast enough. But it's definitely the first night. Hmm. I wonder if I could have put extra stuff over here during the day. If this doesn't work, I'm going to see if I can put some that while you're here. Nice to meet your acquaintance. Okay. Yeah, I've only got two forks left. 36. I might be able to do it. Alright, well. First attempt, it's not too bad if I lose. Alright. Twelve. Ah, oh, come on, the knives take so long. Alright, and there we go. There you go. That's doing it in one day. I mean, I don't know. I mean, was that a better score than I had last time? 42, 9, 5, 2. I mean, that's a pretty good score. And that's... I mean, I can't really assume it going any faster unless you were actually able to get cutters. So, I mean... Yeah, see, I, I had done it faster. So I don't know if that was technically in one day. I might give it another shot. Um, I can just cut it here and then just go back to the end again and see if I was able to do it any differently. But it's going to be pretty much the same thing every single time um, if you can get it done fast enough. So I'm going to jump back into it and see if I can do it one more time. And I'll let you know on the stats on that. think it's possible I think it's just too you need to have some type of cutters or yeah you need cutters or at least a file the knives are just too slow even if you had enough of them they're just too slow to do like I'm already at 40% I didn't have enough knives but like they just cut too slow So, I mean, that's that. There's nothing else I can do about it. So, I'm just going to do this. Hello. So, now what I got to do is I need to do this real quick. I don't need that. I do want that. Um, and I think I left Knife or so down there. So, I think I've got everything I need. So I just need to book it. 
ASAP. Oh, I forgot. I needed to wait three more seconds. What a waste. All right, so I'm going to show you, because I just did it for the first time, how strong I am. 100, 100, 100. A plus three plated inmate outfit, which takes... A sheet of metal and duct tape and then I have a four out of five weapon the nunchucks which I did have um, I got them taken away earlier um, are the uh, are the are the plus five weapon but I figured the four out of five weapon is going to be pretty good for right now um, there's nothing really else I could do the only way I could actually get stronger is if I start recruiting some people um, but I still just can't necessarily remember how to do it. I think it has to do with like control or something maybe Q or E um, and they have to like you, but I'm going to attack Walt or Rich, maybe? No, I'm going to attack, I'm going to attack Officer Walt, because I'm pretty sure he has the purple key, and then I'm going to show you how I, how you can do the key, but in general, I'm sorry you guys weren't able to see me actually escape technically in one day, um, even though that's kind of how you do it. Um, I figured I'd show you the uh, the achievement that I was able to do today, and then I'll throw in how to uh, how to do the keys um, because that's kind of really important to do. So either way, so here's here's Officer Walt. Let's beat him up. As soon as he comes out, he's done for. Oh shoot, maybe I don't want to take him all. Yeah, maybe I will take him along. Who cares? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so watch. So then you take his key because they notice. They notice if you take their key. So you gotta take the key. Then you gotta go instantly into your thing and you have to put it into the water putty. Now you got the entrance key mold. You take them both back and then you can put the molten plastic and the entrance key and then you make a plastic entrance key. And then you click the officer, give him his key back and then you run before the other guy can kill you. Actually here, let's kill him too. Look at that. And then there's the work key, but you know, I don't really want the work key. But now I'm at 100 and now I got back up. Uh, that's that's only because I took out two guards. If you take out one guard, that doesn't happen. But if you take out two guards, that is what will happen. So, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, if you liked it, leave me a like down below. If you didn't, don't let me don't let me know. But um, that's pretty much all I've got for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can I just take everybody out? Just please don't hurt anyone. I literally took out every single guard at the same time. The main prison gate is now unlocked as requested. Just please don't hurt anyone else. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm not going that way. Let me put on the medkit. You're joking. I didn't know that was a thing! I wasn't even trying to go for something like that. Well, there you go. Now you know, if you take out every single guard, you can just walk out the gate. You don't even need to try to escape. You know, actually, beating up all the guards was a lot more fun <laughs> than trying to get out one day.